Hello everyone, Porcelain here on Manufactured, and welcome to another art update video about buttons slash badges slash pins, whatever you want to call them. And this is the second part of the first set of buttons I made during my first time ever using a button maker. If you want to see the first part, which features a lot of my original artwork, then it'll be linked in the description down below and on a card somewhere on screen, hopefully appearing around now. Um, but yeah, so these ones, specifically, I did one of all my original artwork that I had turned into pins, and now these ones are, I think, the most exciting for you guys because these are upcycled ones. So what these are is I took pages from magazines and from this like science book where the spine fell off and like a couple of the pages were torn so I took that and I actually took some images from there picked them out and turned those into buttons to give new life to those older objects which didn't really have much of a life left and I'm I'm really into that idea so so without further ado I'm going to start flipping these over and show you the images I was able to find in the couple of things I did have and what I made with them. So the first one, oh okay, I, I don't know how I put them down so it's kind of a surprise to me too. Uh, the first one is this little lighthouse button from a magazine. I think it actually looks really nice, the composition of the photo on a button actually looks really really nice. So yeah, I think it's pretty cute. And I didn't say this before, but most of these buttons will be available on my Etsy shop when it opens. I'm hoping to have it open by the end of August, and I will definitely have a video out saying when it is. But yeah, so if you're interested in any of these, they will probably be up for a couple of dollars on my Etsy shop coming soon. So yes. Uh, so the first one is this little lighthouse button. Second one, oh, I found this one really cute. This was like a kid's... A, like a mini kids coloring book kind of image and I thought it was really great that it was Alice in Wonderland so I colored her in with pencil crayons and turned her into a button. She's the only one that's done this way but I think she turned out really cute. Next one is from the science book that the spine had fallen off of. I'm not sure what the image is. I think it's something to do with the zodiac it said in the book but I think it looks pretty cool on a button. Next is this planet button. Ooh, focus. I'm not doing so well on that focus. There we go. There we go. There's dust on it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this planet button. Also from the science book. Oh, this one. Okay, so a lot of these buttons are like space and galaxies. But this is the one that I think looks the coolest out of all the galaxy buttons. I love this one so much. I'm going to keep this one. The rest of them, I think every single other one is going to be listed on my Etsy, but I'm keeping this one because it just looks so cool. It looks like this cloud up here is kind of like a giant walking through, I don't know, galaxy. It's super cool. I just love that image. That is my favorite one. Here's another galaxy one. This one will be available if it will focus. No, there we go. I think it's pretty cute. And another one. This time blue. The last one was red. Just getting in a couple different colors at least. I like that one as well. I think they're very cool. Look in the ones with all the stars on them. Here's another one. It's got more of a pink to it. So really, something for everyone. Then this one, which I also think is a really nice image. I like the composition of most of these shots on a button. And what's great is when button making, you can sort of, if you have a larger image, you can choose exactly what part of that larger image you want to highlight in your button before making your cut with your circle cutter. So that's really cool. Oh, and then this one was also from a magazine. I think it's from a magazine? I think it was from a magazine. And it's a bunch of penguins, and I think they're adorable. I mean, they're cute. And I love snow and cold things. It's great. Uh, this one of a wave, also from a magazine. If you like the water. And then the last one is more trees and sky, but with a comet. If it'll focus. I really like this one too. I love the colors in it, the green especially. Yeah, so that is the last one. 
and I know this is going to be a super quick video, but I had to get something up for you guys this weekend, and I figured why not film the part two, finally. And yeah, so, nearly all these buttons will eventually be available on my Etsy shop if you'd like to check it out. It'll be somewhere in the description of this video. Once it's open, it'll be in the description of this video, and in the future, I will be putting out a video about that. I think it's really great to take these mediums such as old books that are broken and can't be used by anyone anymore and turn them into a button like this. And whereas, say, if I took like one of these images, even one of these star images, if you took one of these star images and you printed it a whole bunch of times and you made that into a button, it wouldn't be legal to sell it. But because you are taking an already existing paper medium and using that exact piece to cut out and turn into a one of a kind, then the legality shifts and that's kind of nice. And it's also just really nice to give new life to these old objects and, you know, have them keep going on, highlight the best parts of them in the really cool pictures of galaxies and stuff. I think that's a lot of fun. So. Yes, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I, like I said, I have done another video like this in the past. I've done other art updates on my sculptures, on my repaints, a whole bunch of different artsy stuff. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you also like that, maybe consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Keep playing by your own rules, guys. Bye!